Good morning, everybody. An average emergency physician makes more than 100 decisions in an hour during his or her shift. So uh, investigating how can we make better decisions seems to be really important. And that this is what uh, my topic here today. My vision is that uh, prevention can be part of uh, emergency medicine and uh, to make that vision uh, a reality, I try to improve uh, the care of patients in the emergency department by doing good quality research about treatment and management options as well. My specific goals are these that you can see on the uh, board. My first project is about two risk stratification methods, the HART score and the EDUC score. Uh, these are investigated in patients who arrive with chest pain to the emergency department. So the problem is that more than 5 million uh, visits are due to chest pain in the US yearly. So uh, this is a huge uh, burden on the uh, emergency systems. And uh, there are several different methods how we can treat these patients, how we can make the decision whether or not to discharge or uh, admit them. There was a recent consensus statement published uh, last year which recommends only two score systems, the HEART and the EDAC score, but the evidence is not really strong. Uh, at least on, the, uh, on behalf of the EDAC score. So my aim is to find out uh, which one of these scores is better, uh, which one of these scores uh, results uh, or associated with uh, fewer adverse events compared to standard of care. The population where is ED patient with uh, non-traumatic chest pain uh, with suspected acute coronary syndrome. Uh, I will compare heart score or EDUX to standard of care and the outcome will be major adverse cardiac events. And my hypothesis is that heart score is more accurate in risk gratification compared to EDUX or the standard of care. I did the systematic search on the 25th of November uh, with the following uh, search key, uh, which resulted in uh, 11,999 uh, articles. Out of those, 233 uh, is eligible for full text selection. I only have uh, preliminary results at the moment, but uh, I will show you anyhow. Uh, these are the sensitivity and specificity analysis for these two, uh, two score system regarding the 30-day uh, major adverse cardiac event uh, rate. Uh, you can see that the sensitivity of heart score seems to be superior to EDUX. Unfortunately, I don't have any data on usual care because no one uses usual care in the emergency departments according to the uh, publications. And I only want to highlight sensitivity because this is what uh, we are really interested in uh, in uh, large numbers because that uh, will tell us uh, who are the patients who uh, cannot be safely discharged. Uh, so if uh, the sensitivity is high, uh, we can say that we will not miss anyone who should be admitted to the emergency department. And that's why sensitivity uh, of the heart score uh, uh, is important for me at that moment. Specificity would be good as well because it could tell us that uh, we should instantly admit a patient uh, to the hospital, but uh, none of these seems to be uh, feasible to use uh, on their own. So we need extra investigations. Uh, this is the uh, area under the uh, receiver operating characteristic curve analysis of EDUX. Uh, the, uh, according to the random effect model, the area under the rock curve uh, for EDUX is uh, 0 0.69. Uh, 
it, which means that 70% of the patients are uh, characterized correctly by the EDUX. And compared to the heart score, uh, we can say uh, that heart score seems to be, again, a bit uh, slightly better because uh, its uh, uh, area under the rock curve is uh, 0.84. So uh, just to compare this to, uh, heart score seems to uh, have a superior performance than EDAX alone, and uh, this is not just uh, static uh, statistically significant, but it tells us that a uh, heart score uh, is the one that we should use, at least according to the preliminary results. Another reason why heart score seems to uh, be better is because it has a lot less uh, diversity uh, between the studies. Uh, if you uh, check the uh, left uh, uh, figure, you can say that uh, based on that uh, small uh, number of studies, uh, the performance of either score can be anywhere. Uh, uh, but heart score has a more tight uh, region, so uh, probably if uh, when we finish uh, the full text selection, uh, heart scores uh, data will fall into uh, the useful parts of the curve. This is the uh, progression of my first uh, project. Uh, data extraction, it's hard to tell it exactly, uh, I mean, how much of uh, the data got extracted because I always find new uh, uh, data that uh, should influ uh, could influence the results, so I uh, frequently have to go back. But it, uh, account, uh, according to my guesstimation, it's around 60%. My second project is uh, developing the Hungarian Major Trauma Registry. We know that uh, major trauma uh, is the leading cause of death uh, in the uh, younger adults and uh, ch children's population. Uh, and we also know that registries can help to improve the care uh, of patients. And we also know that there is no Hungarian trauma registry so far. So that's why we uh, thought that uh, we should put one together. Uh, our aim is to not just to, to create a Hungarian trauma registry, but uh, to get it accepted by the Hungarian Trauma Society, the Hungarian Anesthetist and Intensivist Society, and the Hungarian Society of uh, Emergency Medicine as well. Uh, so this is the progress. Uh, we have the idea, we did our background research, and right now we are uh, constructing the structured data uh, collection forms. And uh, after that, we will be uh, able to move forward to uh, uh, the further steps. My third project uh, is about uh, geriatric patients. Uh, I'm investigating the risk factor associated with the unplanned returns of geriatric patients at the emergency department. It will be a, a retrospective cohort analysis. Uh, we know that the uh, population is aging. Uh, Estimations say that uh, around 2050, 27% uh, of the uh, European Union's population will be 65 years old or older. Uh, and we also know that uh, the geriatric population is overrepresented uh, at the emergency department if we just measure it against their uh, uh, age, so uh, it puts a huge burden on the emergency uh, departments, and we also know that 20% uh, uh, of the older patients will uh, return to the emergency department unplanned within 30 days. Uh, we try to find the risk factors uh, which uh, is associated with the, these unplanned returns to decrease the number. Uh, of patients who are uh, mistreated at the emergency department. So the progress uh, can be seen here. Uh, I did my preliminary research and I, uh, we also have uh, an ethical approval for retrospective studies uh, in the Department of Emergency Medicine uh, at Samarvis University. We did the database search and right now we are evaluating the data set if it's feasible or not to to uh, answer uh, the uh, prior question. 
This is just an overview, and I would like to thank you for your attention with uh, uh, the word of Confucius. When it's obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. Thank you. Thank you for the great presentation. I was uh, wondering uh, if uh, there is any rationale uh, behind uh, uh, making uh, composite scores uh, regarding to your first project. I mean, those scores are assessing um, basically the same input data with a big, uh, bit uh, differences. But uh, is it, could it be clinically more re uh, meaningful if you would combine and make a composite of those uh, score systems? like with health and ad hoc uh, sensitivity and specificity, that thing checked uh, together. Maybe it's There could be some uh, uh, relevance to that. And there are some thoughts and, uh, and uh, places around the, uh, the globe which use not only one score system, but uh, several of them. So uh, uh, there is usually a, uh, a method how it is. Uh, chest pain patients. Sometimes we use one score, like the heart score, for entrance, and uh, if the patient is not excluded, we're going to use another one. Uh, we're going to measure another troponin, which will uh, result uh, the use of a third score system. So they uh, nicely uh, build up on each other, uh, but uh, it's, it's like the holy grail. We cannot really find uh, uh, the true score system uh, which rules them all. Uh, because uh, it just, uh, the patients are so uh, uh, diverse and uh, there is a huge variability uh, amongst them. Maybe with the introduction of some biomarkers we can uh, polish these things, but I'm, I'm not sure that we can reach that point yet. May I ask you, uh, how frequently uh, you, uh, you rely on scores comparing to clinical experience in the emergency room? So, I mean, these uh, heart score, EDUC score, or uh, scores in pulmonary embolism, uh, deep venous thrombosis. So, uh, because, uh, as we could see, uh, scores can cheat on us as well. Uh, I think uh, it's like evidence-based medicine. So, you need to use the evidence and you need to use your own clinical judgment together uh, to decide these kind of patients. Uh, to decide uh, uh, the fate of these patients. Uh, we try to use uh, score systems with everyone uh, because it makes a bit more objective, uh, at least on the charts, uh, but uh, the final decision will be made on clinical judgment. Thank you very much. Uh, what are the typical uh, causes uh, or health care problem of the readmission of uh, elderly patients, please? Uh, there are a lot of uh, reasons I, I could just uh, uh, mention to you. Uh, the social uh, network uh, or, or net that uh, uh, keep, keeps them uh, healthy is just non-existent in Hungary. So uh, uh, either uh, that or we usually will not find uh, a problem uh, of theirs, uh, uh, a not so obvious infection or uh, slightly elevated sodium level. Or the third thing is that we cause something uh, iatrogenously because we start to treat a urinary infection, for example, which is not there. Uh, and they will be represented because of the side effects of the antibiotics or uh, uh, super infection uh, caused by that. So a uh, lot of reasons. Just one final methodological question. Okay. It's a tricky one, but it's easy, I think. Uh, in the scoring system, in both cases, there was a huge difference between the sensitivity and specificity. What's the reason to that? Uh, I think uh, there is a global truth in that, that you can be uh, specific or you can be sensitive, but you cannot be both. Uh, and uh, at least uh, with these diverse uh, uh, situations like chest pain. So we, uh, during the uh, development of these core systems, they aimed for sensitivity because we don't want to send home anyone who has uh, a slight chance of uh, having a major adverse cardiac event within 30 days. Yes, you can adjust the cutoff to be more specific or to be more sensitive. 
And in this case, the sensitive is the most, most more important. Thank you very much. Thank you.